What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley Cairo. If you guys are new and if you are a returning subscriber, I am so glad you guys are back for another video. If you guys are not familiar with May Movement, it is my empowering lifestyle brand where we encourage you guys to better yourselves so you can better others. I will have all of our products and links down below. So for today's video, we are getting back into high gear with some note taking videos. You guys love those, but today is all for you lazy bums. Not everybody likes taking notes. It might be a girl thing. I'm not really sure, but I know for a fact that not everybody likes it. Not everybody wants to do it. So there are some proven ways that I can get you guys to take effective notes in the laziest way possible. Let's go. So I'm doing a whole series all on productivity and educational videos. So make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss out on any videos. Now keep in mind, note taking is meant to be useful. You are supposed to be able to go back, look at your notes and realize that you can learn something from them and grasp the information that is on the page. So that is the goal, but we're gonna make this super easy for you guys, so let's go. The great thing about abbreviations is it's a twofer. So not only are you getting indicators that will stick out on your page, but it's also saving you time in class while taking notes. Make sure you use universal abbreviations, that way you will remember them and you can easily look them up if you need to. Now, if you're not into making fancy schmancy notes, just make it easy. Logistical lists, key ideas, and use headers when appropriate. These are some of the things that would be included in a header and then you would have bullet points right underneath. Super simple, but don't write too much. The best way to stay organized is to have an index system. I recommend saving two pages in the front of your notebook and adding the page numbers and topics. Here is a quick little example. Now, just for reference, you might have different topics within the same unit. So you don't necessarily need to write down what chapter and what unit it is for every single entry. It might just be a key topic that you need to write down. Let's say you're studying algebra, you might be learning about the X and the Y, and then in that same unit, you might be learning about a specific type of equation. So just make it so that you know exactly what is on each page. Now, if you think that you can't write fast enough or you're really just not into note taking, I recommend dictating your notes. You can use apps such as Hippo to keep track of your lectures and class recordings. Now, here is an example of a very simple spread that I've used for my church notes. I just use a thicker pen to outline the headers and underline the important verses. And then all of the bullet points are just different things that were talked about for each verse. Again, super simple. And then I index every single unit or topic that we're talking about that week in church. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video and learned something that you can implement into your own studies. As always, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and follow along on social media. And I hope you guys are doing well and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.